Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of our 1.6.4 modded series. I'm Illusion and Hotag is around here somewhere. It's I'm really, really far away actually. Yeah, he's out really far away and I'm going to tell you why. So today is going to be a fun episode. It's going to be an um, episode we've been looking forward to a lot the last couple of days. The reason we've been so excited is we added new mods this morning. So what mods did we add? Let me show you. Or you may have seen it from the screenshot of the video, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> we added... Yeah, forget that you see the thumbnail. <laughs> we added Thomcraft 4. Um, came out as a public release a day and a half ago. We added this morning, so we can include it in this video. So you will probably see a little bit of a heavy Thomcraft episode today. We also added Forestry. Um... <clears throat> There was a bug in 1.6.4 between the 6.2 and 6.4 that was causing a crash between, what was it, uh, a villager villager generation? No, I think it's, yeah, it's a village generation. Village generation bug. So that's why we haven't had forestry end. So we've added that, and then we also added bees. So we added magic bees and Benny core, which brings in extra trees and extra bees. So we added four new mods, say, well, five if you want to call Extra Trees a different mod. So today's going to be a fun episode. Um, th it's another reason we've kind of have it, we've been kind of staying around our base and haven't done a whole lot. It's because we didn't want to generate a whole bunch of new chunks. So we wouldn't have to go out much further than um, just this area when we added Thomcraft and Forestry and started getting the world gen for uh, the beehives. So that's kind of, kind of our method to our madness. So that's why Hotag is out, out in the field and far away, because he's actually looking for some new, um, new generation um, chunks so we can actually start looking for these Thomcraft shards. So I will, I'm going to cut the camera. Um, just a quick look around here. We haven't really changed really anything around here. Everything's just about the same. But uh, So I'm going to cut the camera, go catch up with him wherever he's at, and then we're going to start looking for these shards, and we're going to start digging into Thomcraft 4. hope everybody's excited just like we are. So be right back. Well, so, I want to see the new one. The one right. that almost don't spawn anywhere. Okay, guys. <laughs> we'll, welcome back. So we uh, found a little island that we just started digging down into. And we uh, found some sh first set of shards. So these are our um, some earth-infused shards. Oh, yeah. So now we're just going to have to keep looking around and see if we can find some more. So that's earth. So that's five. So that's each enough to... Let me pull this up real quick. How many do we need? I think it's one of each kind. Sure, yeah, I'm in I think recipe. So. I'm in cheat mode. Let me get out of cheat mode. Just testing something earlier in our test world. So yeah, so we just... So to make a thermometer, we just need one of each of the shards. So we're going to have to look around for a little bit and find all these shards. Um, so we'll bring you back once we uh, found some of these shards and uh, so we can get a little bit deeper in Thomcraft. We'll kind of save the boring stuff of just us digging around uh, randomly just trying to find these shards. So guys, we'll see you back in just a minute or so. So we just got finished with our little mining adventure. It's been a, about an hour between these last two sessions. Uh, we went and found some more chunks, new generated chunks and um, you can kind of see what we uh, brought back from our little trip. So, um, Hotag is making up some bookcases, and I'm going to show you how to craft this thermometer. So you can see that it takes all six shards, some gold, some glass. So we're going to make that up real quickly. So I've got everything I need. And then we're going to kind of show you the first stages of uh, Longcraft. So I'll make two of these, one for me and one for him. And you have what? Oh, right, right, right. Um, so we got our thermometers. Next thing, we're going to make wands. So we're going to make iron cap wands because those are our entry level wands. So those you need two iron caps over a stick to make a cap. You take these iron nuggets. Then we'll make two of those. 
well, need to get a little more iron. We have a little piece of iron right here. Okay, a few more iron nuggets. It looks like they, oh yeah, they do stack. Now we have our iron wand. Got some bookcases for us yet? So we have to find a chest to put all these. Uh... Oh, okay. Well. Dorothy's friends are going to have to die, sorry to say. It's dark outside. Let's go find some cows. Got looting on my sword, so hopefully it'll get a little better return on these uh, cows. And I found one. You could say that sooner. <laughs> or, if we were smart guys, we would have... Um, made some shears from um, dark craft and actually shear these cows but time of the of the essence what can I get rid of uh, well you didn't think of it I'll get rid of a stick all right so there's five leathers so I'll get one more okay so I think I have enough why not picking your there we go. Okay, I have seven, so that's ten. So we have enough. Show off, yeah. Also, I forgot to tell um, tell you guys last episode. Okay, here you go. Here's your thermometer and a bunch of leather. There you go, behind you. Step back just a little bit. There you go, now you got it. Um, forgot to tell you guys last episode, um, I am using the Faithful 32 Texture Pack, um, if, if anybody was curious. And also, uh, if I sound a little monotone and a little under the weather, that's because I am, but we were just so excited about this Thomcraft, we just decided to record today no matter what. Um, no matter how we how I was feeling. So, that's that. Also picked up some ink sack. Um, okay. And just click right click on it with your wand. And now you have your Thomonomicon. So the Thomonomicon has changed a little bit. Um, let me take this off. You can see in my top left corner, you can see the aspects of this wand and what it holds. So if I can mouse over it, you can actually see that I have a little bit of air, a little bit of terror, and a little bit of aqua, and a little bit of ordo. It's not much, um, but we're going to find some more nodes to actually recharge this back up. So let's get right into the Thalmanomicon. <clears throat> So you can see, kind of looks the same, but a little bit different. It's got some different tabs on the left-hand side of the screen. So basic information. Yeah, well, he's already started researching. Um, so let's get in Thaumonomicon. Okay, well, we did that. And knowledge fragments research. So we need to actually make this. We just made a thermometer. Make some scribing tools. Research tables. Research T's. So this is kind of the beginning part of Thomcraft. So you can see there's different primal aspects. I believe there's six. Yes, there are six. So everything, every aspect of Thomcraft is broken down to either these six or a combination of these six elements. So as we move forward in our research, you're going to see that these six aspects definitely come back into play. So, you know what, let's go um, our nose. So let's read a little bit about this. Um, 
say that's what I was saying, primal aspects and a little bit of compounds. Compounds is this, the, um, well, the compound of the two primal. Um, that is not hard, right? So let's go research a little bit. So this is what the interface of the thermometer looks like. So you're going to right click on different items and as you right click on them you're going to gain research points and then when you gain, take the research points and take to the research table to start researching items. Sounds difficult but it's not as bad as it, sound like, as it sounds. So let me research Oh, HOTAG. I can't research HOTAG. And you can see on the bottom right hand of the screen it says, you do not have all knowledge required to understand this. <laughs> it's just a little tickle. Um, so as we, gain, as we gain more knowledge and more understanding of, of, of the thumb craft research, we'll be able to understand it. So, as you can see on the bottom right hand of the screen, gain two points for terror. And you can see on the little screen, it has a little picture of the terror, and it has the number two. So basically, we just picked up two research points. And there we got sex. Um, let me switch back to the Thaumonomicon. So go to re aspects. You can see right here, now Saxum. We discovered Saxum, which is a combination of terror. Two terror together makes a Saxum. So that's what I was kind of talking about, is all the aspects are either the primal aspects or some combination. So now that we discover Saxum, we kind of can expand off of Saxum. All right, so let's keep keep going around. A lot of these things we're not going to have we're not going to have the understanding for. Now let me back up enough so I can access it. That's funny. That's a little bug. Uh, are you still in here, Hotag? Come uh, try to research the metal former. It'll say it's a teleporter. So we just picked up some a little more saxum, so just gained one more research point. And this has probably got a lot. If we have the knowledge, for me, it says teleporter inside the GUI. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, so we do. So, since we're just starting this off, we don't have a lot of understanding. So we're only going to be able to really get basic items. You can't research the same thing twice. Since I already did these bricks, and I can't do this brick again. So let's see if we can get this redstone torch. Nope. Okay. So we put, picked up one Perdido and one Saxum there. So this is how Thaumcraft has changed in the research. It's no longer um, taking random items and throwing them in a research table to uh, figure out items. So let's go outside the world. Is it day out? Yes, it is. So let's go look around outside. Grass, not yet. So basically you're going to want to research everything you get your hands on. Water, I know we should get something. Yep. So we get six points for aqua. So let's see if we can do a flower. Nope, not yet. Egg? Not yet. Chalk? Nothing learned. Let's try the sugar cane. Hmm. Well, hate to say it, Hotag, we are just we are just not too smart guys right now. But this is gonna change. Oh look at that. So you've now discovered potentia. So we gained four research points for potentia and one for Ignis. So this is going to really help us out right here. Oh, do they? Cool. So we're going to kind of run around here, research these, um, research some things, and I'm going to show you how to look for nodes and how to access the nodes. So we'll be right back. We've been looking around a little bit, looking for the nodes. We had a little bit of trouble finding the nodes, so we had to go shut the server down and go in the configs and um, enable Retrogen, and um, we increased the nodes per chunk count a little bit. Um, so you can see right here, I just found this um, node. 
you can see that it's a pure node. You can see the aspects that's contained in this node. So let's go ahead and let me show you how this works. Let's get rid of this wood right here. And if you remember from Thumbcraft 3, um, the, uh, there's always a node, and, and I just destroy that. Well, that's not good. Well, so let me break the camera again and go find another node to show you how to, the one works. Okay, guys, back again. So I wandered around just a little bit more and found this uh, Thumbcraft dungeon. So you can see up here, um, cannot really see this node very visible by the naked eye. If you get right up on top of it, you can see it barely right there. But once you move the, um, once you move your thermometer over, you can see it shows up much better. So I'm just going to right click on this, see what it says. Oh, it says I don't have the, under, the knowledge to understand this. And that's okay. I also found a uh, sort of zephyr in a great wood tree. So I'm going to take my iron cap wooden wand and I'm actually going to right click on the node. And you're going to see on the top left where there's my different uh, wand aspects. You'll see though as they recharge. And it's got a nice little animation. And you can see the, how they're recharging. All right. And then mouse over my wand, you can see that a lot of my aspects have filled up. With this wand, you only get capped off at 25 units or whatever you want to call them per aspect. So you can see on Ordo, I'm still I'm full. And the rest of them pretty close. Um, looks like I'm still missing um, a fire aspect. So we'll have to look around for that. So I got just wanted to show you guys some of the basic mechanics of um, finding the wand and then charging this up. So one quick couple notes about these, <clears throat> these, these uh, nodes. If you drain them completely of all their aspects, they have a chance of not... Uh, recovering and not responding or uh, not regenerating um, their aspect so you always want to leave a little bit still left in there but you're gonna have to recharge your wand every time you use it so let's go I haven't looked in here yet let's go see if there's anything uh, cool in here which can I can't scan that nope Did that bring any torches yes also found a builder's wand and a uh, that same great wood tree. I found a great tree. Uh, no. Wow, this is actually different than I remember. I'm gonna bring some back this mossy. And there's a bunch of pistons. That makes me nervous. Oh shoot. Well. So you can see right here the string and the tripwire. So let's go ahead and break that. You can see the redstone back there. Let's see if we got anything good. Some fire charges. We need to do that for our boiler. It's a nice little find. And what do we have here? Just a few things. Is there more back here? Arrows. Another tripwire. Let's see. Run out of room in my pack for all this junk. So let me leave some of this stuff behind. So definitely use some force gems, take some sapphires. That I can put in my miner's pack. I think we're going to head on home and I'll show you kind of the next uh, step of this um, beginning Thumbcraft mechanics. Crop dictionary. Do we need a crop dictionary? 
What does that say? Um, yeah, this is new. This is as part of the uh, IC2 stuff. Oh well, I'll bring it home. It looks pretty cool. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll bring that with us. Might be something fun for us to read later. Bring back that force bucket since we are using a force engine to power our stuff right now. And let's see what else can I get rid of? Dirt. Take this wood. Okay. I'm going to take some back some of this mossy so we can put repair on our uh, Tinker's Construct tools. I'm going to bring back, get some of this mossy up, picked up, and I will see you back at the house here in just a second. Hey guys, I haven't left this temple yet, but uh, I started flipping these levers and I found some more cool stuff. actually found a division sigil. Which should be nice, and some other um, <clears throat> books. Um, and, and these random spawn chests, you can actually get uh, two manuals by Greg Tech, um, so they can give you a lot of information on the uh, Greg Tech machines and how to set them up. So definitely encourage you to uh, look around that, especially if you're new to Greg Tech. So I just wanted to show you guys this, and that red garnet's kind of nice. You can see how many materials that we can break it down um, from there. So I'm going to gather up these materials, if I have the room, and again, we'll see you back at the base. Okay guys, we're back again. Just got home, offloaded all, had junk, and cleaned up inventory a good bit. <clears throat> so next I'm going to show you how to make some of the next steps of the um, Thomcraft. So I'm going to pull off two tables after I get some wood. Actually, what am I missing? Let's um, let's make some wood planks. Where is the saw? Yes, the saw is broken. Okay, well that's okay. We're okay on wood. Yeah, it's nothing like having a working with a partner. They break your tools and then don't tell you about it. So there we go. So that's what the table looks like. So we're gonna pull off two of these and some scribing tools. So scribing tools is a feather, a glass bottle or a vial, and some ink. So that's a pretty easy recipe. And it is shapeless. Yeah, so we got scribing tools. So um, what Hotag is working on, he's actually working on the factory right now. <clears throat> At least getting some walls up. And so over the next few episodes, we're going to start moving out of here and moving over there. So if we have enough time this episode, we'll peek over there and kind of see how he's been working. But since I just found that builder's wall, and hopefully progress will go a little quicker. So i got two tables down side by side. I'm going to click it with the um, describing tools. And now we have a research table. So now this research table, I'm going to pop some paper in there. So you can see on this left side of the screen, these are all the aspects that I have discovered with my thermometer as I was out researching. So all these play into effect with going through the next research. Of course, I got paper up here so I can get the research notes once they're done. <clears throat> so let's talk about a few other things in this beginning stages of Thalmcraft. So if I need, so I have two Lux, so if I, so what I know what's made, Lux is made of, is Ignis and Air. So I'm going to click the two, and if I, you can see right here on these, there's a pink purplish bar, this will combine those two aspects. So I have two Lux right now, so if I combine them, now I have three Lux, and you can see that I lost one of each of these. So I'm just going to show you one quick research and show you kind of the basic level. Now I should just click to get them out. 
So I'm going to show you some basic research. I'm, I don't want to do a whole lot of research on camera because it's uh, not only time consuming, but I don't want to get any spoilers away. So I'm going to research um, hopefully NITOR. So that's the combine button, and this one is to send it over here. Okay, so I got NITOR. And then also, since I know NITOR has fire in it, or lux in it, I'll click on that, add this. So now, so now we have these three points that we're going to have to join together. So I think I understand how this research is done, but um, let me see if I can explain it. So these right here, you have to move them out, away, out the way to connect the dots, kind of in a short way of explaining this. And Hotag understands this a whole lot better, but his mic's off, so he's going to hopefully be right on top of me uh, or explain this if I start messing it up. <clears throat> so we're going to move these out the way, one at a time, <laughs> to, to see if we can get these to line up. So since that is an active rune, since over here on the right-hand corner you can't move it, you cannot move active runes. So I'm going to see if I have, I'm going to take away this Lux, and this is the Lux right here. So I'm going to shift it over. Okay, and I'm going to send it back. Okay, so that's getting close. Okay, so now what? Try some potentia. What is potentia made of? Oh, no. So again, you know, don't fault me too hard for. Uh, messing this up because literally this is the first time I got my hands on it. There's a little bit of a learning curve. So I thought you just had to line these up to get them to connect. Well, give me one second. Let me look it up. Make sure we're doing this right so I give you guys the right information. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back again. And we just figured this out. We were, it looks like we were missing one element or we didn't have them lined up. So you can see we uh, finished connecting the dots and got the rest of these, um, these other symbols out of the way so we can make kind of a line. And you can see now we have a discovery for a NITOR. Let's take that out and then we have our Thaumonomicon on our hotbar. Just click there and we have research completed for NITOR. All right, so that's kind of the basics of research. We'll do a little bit more as we get into it. I'm going to show you one other thing before we end the video. If I can find where the iron is. There's enough iron. Well, oh, not that. So let me switch over to my thumb and avocado. For a cauldron? So here is our, you take a cauldron and you right click it with a iron capital on like we have to get our crucible. So let me make that real quickly and thanks to Greg Tech now we do have to make a uh, out of plates. Yay, so much fun. I love Greg Tech. I need one more uh, one more uh, piece of iron if you can get it. Where's the hammer? Did you break the hammer too? Oh, okay. Can you get me one more iron? Um, still need one more. Just one piece. Or you can put it in the crafting bench. Keep the tips right. Did you get it?
Oh, I need one more, one more piece of iron so we can complete that. Oh no, I don't. What's it? What? Ah, what am I thinking? So there we go. Now we have our cauldron. I'm gonna place this down about right there. Right click with our wand, and now we have a crucible. And since we just discovered Nitor over there, we can actually use Nitor as a safer and quicker um, ignition source. So, looks like Hotag's gonna set it up for lava right now, which is fine. So let me switch over to Thumbonomicon and show you. So you can see we've got the crucible set up. We've got Nitor made, so this is actually a piece of glowstone with these um, properties to get uh, Nitor. Elementium and Thaumium, those are still all, um, still need to do research on them. So basically the Thaumonomicon basically gives you all the information for all of the aspects and um, all of the properties of Thaumcraft. So I'm going to spend some time reading over this and kind of get a better understanding of it. Um, so thanks for joining us. Oh, like I said, I was going to, I, uh, told the audience I was going to show the factory what you worked on. So come show me what you've been working on while I was out there playing with the nodes. Hopefully it's not dark out. Yeah, of course. Expect none the less, right? Looks like I got a death point over there. Did I die over there? Or does it? I don't remember dying over there. No, I got a death point on my mini map. I didn't remember dying over there. So this is kind of our uh, first wall of our uh, factory. Kind of got a chalk with a black granite bricks. So this will be. So we're gonna of course clear all this off. But this is our first wall. Definitely try to get at least four walls up so we could be safer in there. Um, so we also, one other thing we did while we were out looking for, um, I kind of like the pattern too. One thing we did find while we were out looking for the uh, the shards, the uh, Thumbcraft shards, yeah, have any offense, um, we found some bauxite. So we're going to start processing the bauxite. So if you don't know what the process box site turns into, well, that'll be your nice little surprise for um, next few episodes. Again, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope to see you next time. Hopefully you like where we're going with this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitch and Twitter uh, for any updates to us and on the channel. Usually Hotag streams in the morning for, uh, for Central um, U.S. time, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.